Do you ever buy clothes for your PMC? Well, maybe you should. I found a way to be invisible in this game, and it's hilarious. I can smell you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you more of that, but first I need to explain what's actually going on here. So usually what people do when they buy this game is they just choose their character and then they just stick to the default loadout. Oh boy. And I mean, it's okay-ish. And a lot of players actually go as far as to recommend them. But actually, these camouflages have major flaws and are part of the reason why you get spotted. Let me show you. So there are two factions you can choose. One of them are the USAC, which overall have good default camouflage, but with one big flaw. When you are laying in the grass, you are clearly standing out. Your camo just turns grayish and this really shouldn't be the case with a camouflage. This right here is exactly why we need to change to a better and more reliable camouflage, but more on that later. The only other faction, the bears, have the far better default clothes in my opinion, which for example in the woods blend in wonderfully and are already kinda hard to spot. There is just one big flaw here, which are the rolled up sleeves. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Because of the huge forearms, they actually make you stand out a lot. And it's even noticeable in the dark, as you can see here. And while the clothes, of course, are important, there is something you can do right now to make you a hundred times harder to spot. Let me give you an example. Can you see the mistake right here? Yeah, the bright helmet clearly gave this guy away. And he already had a huge jump on me. This is exactly why we need to change gear, guys. It's unbelievable once you see it from the far how much it actually makes you stand out. So honestly, you should just stick to black or green gear. And don't worry, because the rest of the flaws in your camo can easily be fixed by just purchasing different clothes. And I got you covered, because I am presenting to you the top three most overpowered set of clothes, which honestly, everybody should have. And without further ado, these are the best clothes you can wear right now on Interchange, Reserve, Customs and Streets. So a flexion and some black K4 pants are literally all you need to stay hidden on Tarkov. It's slick, has no weird pattern and is just overall a certified banger. It's actually pretty effective when you stand right in front of buildings as you can see right here. And this applies to many more locations across Tarkov, as well as when you just stay inside. On the other side, if you went for bear instead, you gotta go for something completely different. I like to call this one the double agent, because you can actually use these clothes on many more occasions than just these maps. It is just a completely black Lynx and FSB urban tag, but you should never underestimate black clothes in a game like Tarkov. The thing in Tarkov is, houses are usually dark and unlit, so a black fit actually turns out to be very handy in this case. The best use scenario of course is interchange, which is of course very dark. Alright, so we got brown armor, we got black armor, but what if I tell you white armor also has a place in this. Yeah, while I was trying out all camouflages, I found something that was pretty mind-blowing on reserve. This is why camouflages are so powerful. What a buffoon. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, but how on earth wasn't this guy able to see me? Well, it turns out if you wear this completely bizarre and bright clothes on reserve and decide to extract camp, you can get away with the cheekiest spots nobody would ever expect. So look at this, you can barely see anything, right? And on the other spot, which is just a little bit further around the corner, this is what that guy saw. Thanks to this odd camo, I actually blend in fairly well in this location. It is of course a very specific hue scenario, but this just shows you how powerful the right right clothes in the right situation can be. And before I show you the ultimate camo, let's talk about labs. So I'm gonna be honest with you, I hate labs. It's just the hardest, sweatiest and most cheater filled map in the whole game. And so, if a piece of clothing can give me even just the slightest advantage on this godforsaken map, you can be damn sure that I am exploiting it. And I like to call this piece the duck. Get it? Because it's white and it's in a laboratory. The PCU iron sight and tier 2 pants are practically made for this map. If you don't wear them, you are clearly missing out on one of the greatest pieces this game has to offer. There are so many spots where these clothes turn out to be handy, it's ridiculous. So honestly, white clothes are a must on a map like Labs. And if you don't have white clothes because you maybe chose bear or you just didn't purchase them yet, you can still go for black. For my bear friends, I suggest you pick up once again the black links and FSP from the map before. Once again, black is just a much better option compared to the default clothes or anything else you can get. And honestly, I am just sorry, if you can't get kills on labs with this camo, 
it's just a skill issue. Okay, <clears throat> um, moving on. But where I can fix your skill issues is on the map Woods, Lighthouse and Shoreline. Because with the camo I'm about to show you, you can literally turn invisible. And I'm not kidding. Yusek in this case have once again the most powerful set of clothes and it's also by far the best looking one. The Woodland Infiltrator. Combine this bad boy with a boonie and the matching green armor and you will feel like the predator. My friend is literally on my right here, open field. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, the Woodland Infiltrator should be in everyone's inventory. Otherwise, you are just missing out. It blends in on rocks, trees, grass, mud, literally everywhere. There is no other camo that can do it as efficient as this one. It's just so nutty. Even if you chose berry, you get some great options as well. My personal favorite is the Boras combined with the base lower pants. It's pretty great and otherwise you can also go for the Zazlon, which is a little bit darker, but really you can't go wrong with either of these two. It's up to you, brother, whichever you prefer. So guys, after burning my retina from staring at the screen for hours, I can confidently say you should buy the Woodland Infiltrator or Boras. The payoff, especially on these maps, is just huge and you can't be missing out. And on the other side, you also remember what I did on Reserve with the White Camo, right? I bet you can do that on many more maps than just Reserve. It's just up to you to discover them. So just take the knowledge of these camouflages and go nuts. And the next time you kill a chat because he stumbled over you and didn't see you, you will remember me.